Okay, so this is a good sign. There's a jug and a can there. We're gonna find what we're looking for here today. Okay, Julie, let's go see what we got in this little guy. Maybe there's something special in here. There it is. Look at that, huh? What do you know? Okay, Julie, let's do some hand tramming, see if that thing still works. We got work to do today. I hope you're bringing out a full car. A little harder. You gotta get your minor muscles going. Yeah, there's a couple of rocks that are near the track. We had to make sure the switch was set. Keep going. You got it. You didn't derail. We got a hurricane here today, so you might get some wind noise. You like that one? Yeah. And inside of it is a wood handle, ground bladed shovel, riveted head. Uh, not that terribly well used. A dead mouse, a couple of uh, jars of something. Seals cord, it looks like. And a carbide can. Full of stuff. A couple of pans. So this is a rear dumping swivel cart. Here we're looking at the front of it. Julie's going to show you this. This is the handle that would uh, unlatch it and allow it to tip backwards. So what you would do is you would take that big nail off that's a lock or a loop and then you would pull that handle towards me and it would unlock this from down here and then that would allow you to tip this bottom part up go ahead and relock it that's the safety catch that's the lock so then when you when you undid that part this part the gate with these hinges would swivel open swing open this way and there's also a catch down here and it also swivels See the swivel down here? So you can dump it and load it different directions. There's a piece of a natural timber on the bottom of it for a bumper, I guess. The only one we're out. Boy, I wonder how what stories this could tell. According to my sources, uh, Roy Ladd hauled this in piece by piece. And uh, he was one who, who didn't sell much of his ore, and you can see there's a lot of ore, ore laying around that this car obviously hauled out of this mine. So let's go back in the mine. There's another steel car in here. Too bad it's so windy today. We're going to get some wind noise on the camera. Let's see this one once while, while we're in here. So this is also a rear dump. This one's empty. You can see the tracks go around the corner there. Uh, you want to tram this one forward or outside? Outside so we can see it. All right. Julie doing some more hand tramming. Watch your head, watch your fingers. You don't want to get your fingers on the edge of that when they hit the wall. That would hurt. Now watch your switch. This one's painted red for some reason. Kick your switch a little over. Oh, stop, stop. Go back. I meant the other way. Hold on. Kick it a little over. There you go. Just make sure you catch that with the inside of your wheel. Nope, nope, nope. Kick it over there. Pull your car that way. There you go. Okay, now Julie's got the switch figured out. There's the red one. 
So that's also a rear dumper. Here's your latch and handle over here, similar to the old one. You pull that loop off the handle and you unlatch it the same as the other one. And then, let's see if there's a rear latch. Yeah, the rear latch is off, so, so go ahead and tip it up. Yep. Tip it up. You just dumped it. All right, bring it back. Is it that heavy? It's heavy. Okay, hold on. Okay, bring it all the way up now. All right, now see if you can latch your. Yep, it latched on this side. You latch on that side. Take it down a little bit. Okay, so then you relatch re the back of it here. There you go. Tighten it down. There you go. And I'll put your ring on there. That's your locking ring. And you're ready to tram in there for another load. Pretty cool. No. Yeah, there it goes. Stop, 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 stop. We derailed. <laughs> put, the other, put the other piece in. Slipped it straight across. Yipper. Yeah, something like that. Uh, does that make sense? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright, let's go explore the mine. There's a pair of boots in an old pot. There's a sign from Roy Ladd. Oh, is there? Yep. What does it say? So here's a notice. Work from September 1st, 1978 to September f no, to April 22nd, 1995 it has been completed on this group of claims. Locator Roy Ladd. Yeah, I really said Roy. Loaded this card in here by hand and I pieced it in by hand and put it together. Here's a jug of water, it looks like. Here's his bed spring. Yeah, here's his bed spring. They say Roy didn't like to sleep in the same place twice in a row. So he had uh, different places that he would sleep. Looks like the rats have taken over this one. We saw a couple of his other bed springs and sleeping places the other day. Look at this, the tracks wind around. Imagine that old wood mine car tramming through here. Pretty neat stuff. Nice job on the track, we're still in good shape. Nice bends on them. I guess Roy was quite the mechanic. He took work in Reno as a mechanic, auto mechanic, or truck mechanic, one or the other, when he wasn't up here working on these mines. Looks like a muck seat. A little extra stall here. the wind shaft and I'll come back to that and I want to see the end of the drift here. There's a wash tub and two carbide cans for his lantern. Oh, it goes on quite a ways. 
Okay, finally got Dooley in front of me, so we got something to look at. Rather than just bare walls. Give you a little scale anyway. Nice little mine. These old, old things are all cut with an axe. Maybe some of the type of things he was looking for. I believe it was primarily a silver mine. Just go a little bit further. Oh yeah. Here's one of these contact zones. When a fault was opened up and the hot mineral laden water pushed up through the cracks. I got over that little collapse. This is all fault gouge back here. Clay that is produced when these slabs rub together. But that's that's about as far as I can get. I don't think it went any further. This is all this is all clay. It's uh see so you can you can make a cup out of it if you wanted to. That's fault gouge. Here's brand done. Don't know who Brandon was. Oh yeah, I forgot we have a winds to look at and I thought I noticed a wood skip car back there too. We should be just about back to the winds. I didn't even look down the winds. Yeah, carbide cans and the wash tub. Oh, this is full of uh, spikes for the track. And these are the kit. These are the covers for the carbides. That should say Union Carbide on it. Well, there's a little something down there. The rats like it anyway. Here we are back to the winds. Some nice natural timbers here. Looks like this one has fallen down from somewhere. Oh, and he followed this up too. I can see that that's the end of it right there. Oh, we gotta go down there. You wanna go? Okay. You want me to go? We don't have a lot of our gear on, like helmets and ropes and stuff today because we're mostly hiking. All right, here we have some lumber up on top of this thing. It's got pretty good steps on the skip track. So it does get steeper down there though. I don't want to take the best way down. Kind of flattens out down lower. You coming at all? Here's his set of hand rock bits for single jack drilling. You take about a two pound hammer and bang on the, the drill steel there and make a quarter turn of it and bang it again. And, and all the different lengths you start with the small one and you gradually work up to the one that's about two feet long. Uh, and that's as deep as you can go once that's bottomed out. So we're still going here. Uh, Looks like Julie might be going now. Maybe you want to turn around. Or is it okay that way? It's okay so far. You can hang on the bridge. You should have ridden that old uh, wooden cart down there. That'd get you down there in a hurry. Right. Haven't it? Put a loop at the end.
See anything down there? Yeah. It's awful dusty. Try not to kick up any more dust. What do you see? So that's where I just came from and crawled down here. <coughs> it's crawled down here, which is why it's so dusty. Tom's up there. And then down here's a little cross cut. And but the tracks stops right here. And that's the face right there. It's not very far. Here comes Julie back up the rims. You might as well just keep right on a trucking. Okay. Yikes. Yikers. Ah, I almost went down the winds the fast way. There's another cross cut to the right. Okay, I'll get on the way up. Yeah, here's a little cross cut on the right. Had some extra timbers in there. All hand cut and hand worked for the joints and the, you know, the fitting of them. This looks like a, uh, just a pipe on a, a, a pipe on a pin, but it would have been a roller for the cable to, to, to run on. A lift cable. So here's the wooden skip car. Wheels are gone. Didn't hold a lot. It had a metal line bottom. And that would run down the line there. And then this was the the frame for the for the winch. Or windlass. This is just kind of swung out of the way. And there's the hole for the other side of the shaft. And it would have been just a hand winch, a hand crank. Here's the other side of the skip. I bet the wheels are gone. Enough fun playing on the wind shaft. Here's a muck seat. One last look back at the winds. And wind their way down the track. Neat little mine. There's some more of this main type of Thing he was probably following. Hanging wall up here. Very nice little mine. Think of old Roy sleeping on his bed in here. Classifier, it looks like. Here's an old bottle of some sort, or a jar, I mean. That's about all I want to show on the outside of this. All right, let's put your toys away, Julie. All right, I'm done working for the day. All right, you've done your share. Well, you want to watch your fingers on the edge of that, don't you? It's about a half inch of clearance. That would take your knuckle right off.
Was there some, was there a piece of wood holding it or something? Maybe. There you go. So this is our last look at the old wooden ore car for this trip anyway. We can come back here again anytime we like. A beautiful old piece of equipment hauled in by Roy himself piece by piece and put together on site. Alright, I hope this thing makes it without derailing. I think we got her. Gale force wind going on out here today. So this is Roy's sleeping cabin. I don't think people find this when they find the wooden ore car. It's pretty well collapsed right now. Uh, this was his bed. A couple shovels. There's a couple dynamite boxes that he turned into a little drawer. Or a little shelf. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> and I can squeeze in here. According to my friend Ron, this was his favorite place to sleep. There's his old boots still on the ground. Here's another beautiful steel bucket. And this is all pine cones up to that. Look how he turned some old um, giant explosive boxes into shelves above his bed. Lined the thing with um, canvas and cardboard. There's his old shovel, one's taped up, a short handle. Uh, here's whatever he was reading at the, of the day. There's some old bottles here. There's still salt in the salt shaker. There's pepper over there. There's a ketchup bottle. There's another little pot. What's this one down here? This, this is rusty. Oh, it's a little bucket. It's a little bucket. There's this pot. With the soap dish. Oh yeah, it's the soap dish. And then there's so there's his cooking pot. Here's the dynamite box. Rolling pin. Put that up there too. Rolling pin. Uh, a ketchup bottle, a vinegar bottle, a salt and pepper shakers. Better leave some of them in there. Oh, look at this. Holy buckets. How many times did he pound that? This is really cool. Look at that. Look at that little axe and a little um, drill bit, straight pin. All this stuff here, I found a, a pair of boots on the ground there, stuck them up here too. A lot of interesting cans. I don't know what some of them are. That was Coco. Coco over there. It looked like he had a chair over here somewhere. Some more boxes. This big boulder, obviously, Crashed the party. Came from up here somewhere. Uh, he had this part all roofed in. And here's another cabinet. There's another cabinet with Tang. Look at that.
USC. No, USQ. USQMC. N E. Me and Sue. Right? Yeah. Right? Yes, no. Me and SCO. Baltimore. Weird. So there's a nice old enamel pot, still usable. A little enamel uh, dish pan. or pie tin, if you want to call it that. And then there's a, a cake pan there, baking pan. Uh, more drawers here. I don't see any in there. Rats have taken over. A little bowl here. Another little plate. It did go back into this rock here, but I don't know if there's anything back there. There's a nice giant box. And there's all the rest of the stuff that we could rustle up to put over there. Line it up. So he had wires coming to this cabin for electricity. He had a generator somewhere. Here's the back of it. It's a real hurricane today, so I'm going to get some wind noise. There's his old cook stove. This looks like his stash of firewood out behind the cabin and pry bar or scaling bar. And down in the ravine is the can dump and another wooden box. Well, we got to get out of here, Judy. We've got a long hike back. It's been a great day of mine exploring. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> kind of the holy grail of mine exploring to find boy lads, mine, wooden ore cart and cabin thanks for watching the video we do appreciate it as always and until next time tom and julie signing off